Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the map Climax. This is a map I found on the workshop. I thought it looked like it would be a fun 5v5 map, so I loaded up with some friends and we kind of played around on it, had a lot of fun, and I wanted to make a video kind of showing it to you guys, showing you, you know, the different bomb sites, kind of how it plays a little bit. And obviously, if one of your major gripes is that it's not textured yet, uh, I kind of came up with a solution to that and we'll get into it in a little bit. But really quick before we get into the video, I wanted to thank a viewer by the name of Vab. He actually left a really nice comment on my Steam profile saying that he'd like if I did some map related content. And I've wanted to do this for a while, but I didn't know how you guys would respond to it since I mostly make skin stuff. He also, when he was looking at my profile, noticed I started picking up some Caddo crafts and he actually gave me a souvenir Caddo 14 MP7 and I don't have an MP7 skin and I absolutely adore this thing. It makes it so much more meaningful that somebody that watches me gave it to me and this all happened like right around my birthday so it really meant a lot to me. Uh, thank you so much Vab for this gift. I will cherish it forever and also thank you for giving me the little push I needed to start this video. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and look at the map. So right now we're in uh, CT spawn and you've got three routes you can go. You can go this way, take you over to A, you can go down the middle this way, and you can go to B. We're going to start out by going B for now. You can go this route get onto B site this way, or you've got this little hop spot down here. Interesting little fence, you know, watch your rotates and stuff when it gets down to the wire. But with that, we're on B site here. And this map, why I like it so much is it is a nightmare for retaking something. You've got corners just everywhere, nasty little angles for little devils to be hiding in. I am that little devil, that's why I like this map. But this is B site, as you can see, lots of angles. Uh, you can boost somebody and they can get like a nasty head glitch looking over here toward the T's. But for the most part, this is your B bomb site. You've got this area connecting you to mid. And with that, let's go ahead and go look at A. Okay, so we're back in CT spawn. Let's go ahead and approach A. And we've got this ramp leading up right here, giving us a, a little look down onto the site. Uh, pretty good place to get your head blown off if you're not careful, but uh, you can also go around this way and you're on site. Again, so many places to hide. If you're retaking the site from the tees, it can be pretty tough. You gotta use your util for sure. But uh, you can get under this little overlook here. Uh, tons of boxes. This is our like connector area to mid, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, this is a pretty good spot. Tease. We found ourselves a lot of the time kind of smoking off this area and trying to work to this box to like, you know, kind of retake site. You know, you got a couple of places when the smoke clears, you can peek out this way. But, uh, you know, and then you can also just smoke it off pretty easily just to get over here and get your bomb down. But for the most part, that's B. You, most CTs, I feel like you, if you rushed out of CT spawn and you got to maybe right here, you'd probably meet the T's if they were rushing. So that's all we're gonna talk about with this for now. But now let's take a look at mid. Back in CT spawn for the last time here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at mid. You've got this interesting little like pool area right here and then this is mid. So we've got this little cubby right here. You can sit and try to hold it for your team, but you don't really want to hold it here if you have one guy playing mid, because while this is our connector to B, you can hold that effectively. You're probably going to want to play up because this is how they get to A right here. So most of the time uh, in the game we played, people would find themselves playing right here just to be able for the guys on A and B to just hold sight and not have to worry about mid. And then obviously, you know, your mid guy, me in this scenario gets waxed. They know they have to start looking here and here for people rotating behind. But uh, I tried to mix it up some, getting aggressive with flashbangs and trying to like sit here, maybe see if I could catch somebody lacking, sitting here, you know, but the further up you get, the more you're pushing it with a T coming around and just waxing you. Again though, I don't think I've said 
just another nightmare scenario if you're like a T coming through here clearing everything. There's so many little ratty spots to get. So many spots. But let's, with that all being said, let's go ahead and just go to T spawn and look at the T's approaching bomb sites. This is our T spawn right here. We got a little overlook into the void here and this is where they're gonna spawn and you can go this way to get to B. You can go this way to get to A. But we also have some interesting pathways leading into the mid area as well. Uh, I'm probably not gonna reset. We're probably just gonna kind of loop around and look at everything. But let's go ahead and do like a straight A rush here. Uh, little nasty corner right here. Obviously a CT couldn't get here in time if you just straight up rushed A, but if you were kind of lollygagging and spawn, one could be there. Uh, you can actually boost up onto this and look down on the A site. We actually did that in one of our rounds and got a kill with it, it was pretty cool. But this is for the most part, you're just straight up A rush, not really much to it other than this like kind of interesting boost spot. And uh, since we just looked at mid, uh, this will be familiar to you. Not a ton of angles and then boom, you're right out here in mid where I just showed you. And we'll actually go this way through mid. Uh, this little area connects to T-spawn as well, right here. Just some flat boxes in the middle. Leads you right up to here. And this is T-spawn. But as you can see, there's no wall here stopping you. If you were gonna do just a straight up B rush, you know, uh, you could go here straight to B site. You could throw your nades and then just cut straight back and go mid. And if you already had a guy mid kind of holding it down, it could lead to some really interesting plays of trying to like, you know, you throw all your util over there and then run straight across here. This stuff smoked and you just charge a, try to get them on a rotate or something. Could be interesting. So where do we go from here? You guys have seen the map. You've seen how it kind of would play a little bit. And uh, when I was playing with my friends, you know, we got done and I obviously asked them all, well, what do you guys think? What do you think about the map? Blah, blah, blah. And they, they all enjoyed playing on it. They felt like it was pretty fair. But their main concern was, why do no graphics? Why it's so blocky? <laughs> While hopefully all of us understand that, you know, it's a new map. That's like, you know, far down the road in map design, so to speak. You wanna make sure it plays well. You've got like a good layout before you start texturing stuff. But I do have a solution. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this video by Three Clicks Philip. Uh, Counter-Strike as you've never seen it, where you used AI to try to, you know, generate images. So like right there, you just saw Vertigo and then he swaps it and makes it look like cyberpunky and stuff like that. Uh, I thought, what if we did this with an untextured map, right? I thought that would be a cool little experiment. And you can see down here in the description, he has how you can do this. Now, the keen-eyed among you might be thinking right now, wait, in that first part of that video, didn't you look different? And yes, I did, because this shit took me a very long time to figure out and I didn't even figure it out my cousin who has a bachelor's degree in computer engineering essentially figured it out for me but we eventually did get it figured out it was a nightmare we got it going uh, I'm gonna show you those images now and we're gonna kind of talk through them but just to be clear three clicks Philip, a hundred percent laid the road for this to happen couldn't have done it without him with that being said, let's go ahead and look at some of our blank images here. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. You know, this is our CT spawn we looked at. Uh, we've got kind of like an angled shot of the B-bomb site right here. Next, we have a aerial of the B-bomb site. I was just trying to come up with some weird angles to try to challenge the AI a little bit. So we got this aerial of B. Uh, T spawn. We've got like a large blank area behind it. I kind of wanted to see what it would do with that. Uh, straight down middle toward that like clock tower. I thought it could come up with some cool stuff here. And then we have A. Uh, just a like kind of an angled down shot on the A bomb site. And lastly, to finish us off, kind of a weird one. Uh, this is the back of A looking at that little overlook area. So these are the images I fed into the AI. And I gave it the prompt, 
of a hilltop village because that's what the creator said he imagines this being is like kind of a hilltop village setting and as you can see when we started off here already really nice looking right I, I was super pleased with this I thought it looked great but I wanted it to be a little greener so I edited it a little bit and it did get a little greener uh, I, w I wanted like an abandoned feel to it though so I turned it up even more and as you can see here this was more what I was looking at even though I said abandoned obviously the grass is trimmed very nicely but I was very happy with this one I felt like we were in the right direction so I don't think I changed the prompt anymore after this point and I just kind of fed in the rest of the images you're gonna see so this is that B bomb site this one blew my mind. I think this, like the perspective on this one looks absolutely incredible. I love how it changed the SWAT truck into just like a pillar here to kind of like fit the theme. Really, really happy with this one. Okay, so next up is that aerial shot of the B-bomb site. Not really sure what's going on with the like van in the middle. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, right here, we, it kind of turned these tables into like planners and stuff. But the weirdest thing that happened by far is it made this wall into like a grass wall that like a Instagram influencer would have in their living room. I'm not sure why that is, but it still looks pretty good in my opinion. And this was my favorite out of all the like hilltop ones. This is T-Spawn. And for the prompt I gave it, I think it knocked it out of the park. The mountains in the background look incredible. But honestly, what I think is the coolest is how it tried to make this just like blank building right here into a building, giving it like windows and doors and stuff. I think this one just looks absolutely incredible. Next up, we've got mid with that clock tower. It's given us like a grassy slope put a little barrel here i think that barrel might have already been there but it kind of textured it a little bit uh it looks very runic abandoned it looks like it's like becoming morning or sunset or something like that absolutely beautiful next we're on the a bomb site and this is exactly what i wanted the, my only gripe with this one is this kind of weird white block in the corner but as you can see here we've got these really really nasty stone walls we've got some like grown-up moss on this part of the a bomb site but i'm very happy with this image and this one i thought would give it trouble but it actually did pretty well on this like little overlook as well you know not something i think you would see in like a abandoned village type scenario but i think it looks pretty good i think it made it fit in well a little bit of grass a little bit of moss on it and stuff it even tried to make a sign with just gibberish on it which, which i think is pretty cool but that is all for our like hilltop images but obviously i had to push this a little further right so i thought a fun prompt would be if we did a horror theme so i fed it all those same images and i said make it into a horror map yeah i, I was adding tags like blood guts stuff like that okay so first up we've got ct spawn and this is i fed it a lot of like haunted house horror all that kind of stuff but it wasn't like bloody enough you know i wanted it to look like a serial killer has been like murdering people here craziness so i crank it up a little bit and this is what i was talking about we've got like a blood gut trail leading off to a site very grungy just total darkness beyond what we can see here really cool stuff and b there has been like a total bloodbath here everything is painted red like we've got enough blood for like 10 people in this pool in the middle super cool i think it handled the angle very well trying to make like a doorway up here even though it's comically large uh, i think it's still a really cool picture uh, our aerial, it looks like it had a little bit of difficulty, but it held it together for the most part. Uh, these chairs, they didn't know what to do with, so it made them into like black swatches, like a, you know, a therapist would show to you and be like, what do you see in this? Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. But 
we've got the the blood pool still down here on the ground not really sure what it tried to do with the swat van here it handled this like little back area perfectly though i would say uh, a pretty decent attempt on this one this one blew me away when i saw it i love this like destroyed house in the back the the blood pool just garbage and wetness everywhere but then we have this super unsettling foggy background with just some like bright headlights in it super fucking creepy i love this one and then we've got mid where it looks like someone just exploded and blood went everywhere at the foot of this bell tower again just like a guy exploded and sprayed blood all over it very nasty ground and walls look at the sky as well it's kind of this like greeny like dark color just really nasty looking and then we have the A bomb site where it's kind of taking this like factory, like barn red color for everything. Uh, you can see here it attempt to make some kind of sign or something. And then we've got, you know, our classic, just huge piles of blood leading off. Uh, I think this one looks great as well. It kind of is different from the rest, but I think that's totally fine. And here, you know, even though that whole area we saw is red, the AI obviously doesn't know we're in the same area uh, for this picture, but I think it still did a pretty good job. Uh, the only problem, I don't know what this giant red glowing meat log is under this, but I mean, pretty unsettling, so I guess that works. Also, how a blood splatter got like 15 feet up into the air on this wall, like, I don't want to see what happened to cause that, but that wraps us up for the horror. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Obviously, I could sit here and do this all day. I'll quickly click through one more for you, though. This is a, I fed it tropical, make it into like a tropical island paradise. And the whole reason I wanted to show you guys this one is because of this image. I thought this was gorgeous. This is obviously the bee bomb site. I'll quickly go through these. It tried to make everything pools despite me like telling it not to over and over again. There's a negative prompt and in all these I put no swimming pools, no ocean and it just kept doing it. I couldn't stop it but obviously you know like I said I could do this for 10 hours. I could just sit here putting stuff in this and I plan to. But I think that's where I'm going to end it off for today. I want to know what you guys think. Do you like this kind of content with the maps and stuff? Uh, do you have any suggestions for another or do you even want to see another? Uh, I'm kind of going out on a limb. I know I'm like a skins guy, but I just love Counter-Strike altogether and exploring. It's like all of its creative aspects, so to speak. So I'd love to know what you guys thought about this video. But that's all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said before, let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.